turned off. There we go. Sound is on. Hello, Carlene David 3. David 3? Me. That's you. Okay. We got it. All right. Well, the excitement of... There are a lot of exciting things happened today. One of them is we ordered a whole bunch of new gates. 30-inch wide gates. Uh, we have an awful lot of gates around here. Uh -huh. And if we had the proper six-foot chain-link gate, we could then hook that cheaper horse fence onto it and go 100 feet or something. And the reason I've gotten going on this is because Jerry and Steve, Jerry, they have the two, they're two dogs here, and, and the one dog, the, what is it, Amethyst? You stand Amethyst next to any of our dogs, and our dogs, the rear end on our dogs is muscle big time, and Amethyst is not. And the only thing we can think of is the difference is Puppy Hill, which they run up and down every day. Mm -hmm. Not flat field. So I have a big sort of hill arrangement over here. It's even steeper than Puppy Hill. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should make better use of those hills to keep them better exercised in a bigger area. Mm -hmm. Well, then you get into things like you get the biggest area for a dog or anything by the closest you stay to a circle or a square. That's the most square footage you will get for the least possible fences. But the trouble is they can't really run in that stuff. So you really want to have sort of long thin things so they can really get to stretch it out, which is the most expensive kind of <laughs> fencing to put up. <laughs> so I'm back in looking for fencing and poles and stuff like that. However, we do have one now on a hill, on Donkey Hill, for the dogs, behind the ice house. It's almost finished. So we will be working on that tomorrow. And things like that. Okay, we don't really have any mail. This is for immediate delivery. It's always, what do they got? Going to be for delivery tomorrow or the next day? I don't know. It's upside down. Tackle home improvement project like a pro. Family handyman. I, I don't think so. Okay, and then we have the United Farm Workers. Well, I, I do like farm workers, that's for sure. But I, I don't think I'd contribute to anybody at the moment. I'm interested in the... I can't, I, oh look, we got seeds. Seeds, seeds goes in the grace department. They, see, they want my credit card information and stuff, and I don't want to do that. This is Verizon, I don't want to listen to them either. So we'll put that in, where's the box? That's the Verizon bill, and I'm sick of looking at them. I'm tired of a lot of things today. Amsterdam pens, we don't need any more pens. And we have the pond guy. We already have ponds working. Okay, that got rid of all that stuff. We'll now work on the boxes. The mark boxes. Oh. Okay, we did that. I gotta clean this drawer out too. The drawer is making me angry. Oh. Here we go. And they are from D. Heiss. Here, Merry Christmas. They can take all three of them. No, put them in their scrap basket because they just get all over. Because you keep putting them places and then they go boing and they go someplace else. And then we have that one. Get your nose out of here, because you're going to get your nose cut here. <clears throat> Don't you can't have that yet. No, can't have that yet. Wait, get me. Hey, get out of here. 
Off of there. Here, give that to her, will you? Well, I gotta answer the phone now. Hi. One pallet? Oh, that's the dry food, the wet food. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, they can just unload it right in the door of the barn. Just leave it there. Yeah, and that's our wet food. Okay? Bye. The, the dog food is arriving. You want to open the rest of this and play with it? Because I should go down and deal with it. Don't let everybody get into it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, he will be entertaining now because there's a pallet of dog food down in the yard that I have to go deal with. Oh, yeah, you hang on to that. You're a good girl. You hang on to that. Wait, 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 you want to do it? Do you feel me? Wait, wait, wait. You want that? You want that? Okay, so some more. You want it? The girl. Wait. You have a toy. May, go get your toy. Leave it. Leave it. Super trucks. This is what you've all been waiting for. Wait. Back up. Back up. Back, 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 back. Wait. Wait. Here's the whiteboard. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's see what we have. Questions. Penguin. <laughs> they go boing, then go someplace else. Yes, they do. The problem with these yum yums is they're very small pieces, so trying to preserve my fingers too. Here we have a second box. I think it's the same as the first box. Thank you. 
good. Busy. It's nice and it wasn't as hot as the other day or humid. Of course, I'm in air conditioning most of the day, so I actually have to go out every now and then to warm up because the, uh, the lab has kept it 68 degrees and after a while it gets chilly. Yes, our dog food is here. We ready for dog fest? I don't know if we're ever really ready for dog fest, but it always seems to go off without a hitch. Here, there's some big plants this year. Yes, we have Paula. Paula's in the house. Along with me. Fighting over the toy. Didn't you get a toy? No. figure out what the theme is of this month's toy. May you have a squirrel. It's over there. Go get it. Okay, now they each have a toy, and they'll probably steal each other's. <clears throat> How is life treating you, David? Long time no see. Your son is good. Doing well. Yep, Beth and I will be here at Dog Fest. call the bark boxes bark boxes too. Alright, we can barely see you. The camera zoomed in too much. So we we'll fix that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that. Not from here. You can see the dogs, that's the important part. I'll have to go in the other room to zoom out. Hang on. Okay. 
See the whiteboard, that's good. Do I have a dog? No, I do not have a dog. I've been offered dogs here, but right now we're happy not to have a dog. We love coming here. We're, we look at it like being a grandparent. We come here and spoil the dogs, then we go home. Okay, what do you do in the lab? I do everything in my lab. I actually work at a wastewater treatment plant, and I'm the one who does all the testing. <laughs> Blue Penguin says, please, 68 in heaven for a temp from a scorched penguin in Florida. farm gets soaked yesterday. Yes, the farm got soaked yesterday. Every place around here gets soaked. Some places more than others. We had some flooding in some areas. Ooh, so it's going to be the even thin in Omaha. Jealous. I did meet them when they were here, though. She is a She's a pretty little girl. Three toys and they have to have the same one. Yes, they do. <clears throat> do I have a favorite chore? Hmm. Suppose it's feeding. I like to do the feeding. I do the feeding up here in Deagle Knot and the house dogs every Wednesday. On the weekends. Believe it or not, hi. Pool picking is is a good job because you're just out in the fields. It's quiet. You can just do it at your own pace, and you get time to think. And sometimes you have a dog helping you. When I first started here, Khaki was still here, and I'd go out pool picking. And Khaki would follow me around, and he would just bark the whole time I was out there poop picking. I called him a slave driver. Once, once in a while, he'd point out where the poops were for me. Some of the dogs would put that way. I do not come on Thursdays. I come on Wednesdays and Sundays. And on Sundays, aside from helping feeding, I never know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Part of it's eating. We usually have good food here on Sunday. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? It's one of the Blue Apron meals, and it's seared chicken and peach sauce. Seared chicken and peach sauce from Blue Apron. Sounds good. Yeah, interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting the uh, the kisses from the adopted granddaughters. That is good. Hi. Vanessa's here. So the overnight's covered. They didn't bark at Haley. <laughs> um, let's see. We do love the dogs, definitely. We don't miss that. 
here in New Hampshire, so we spend a lot of time up there. Love to go up on the coast of Maine. Uh, a couple years ago, we went out to Oregon, went to Crater Lake and the coast out there. That's beautiful out there. My cousin lives in Grants Pass. Have a nice night. You too. Bye. Actually, went kayaking. This past Sunday, I wasn't here Sunday, um, I went on a trip out to the Isles of Shoals, which is off New Hampshire and Maine. Beautiful little area. Beautiful, beautiful day for it. Who's barking? Hey, hey, Paula. Paula has a big dog bark. No barking. Paula. No. So if you look at the map, the Isles of Shoals are the only islands off of New Hampshire. Stop. Who is the voice of the kitchen? That would be Cindy. She's back on Wednesdays. Yay. She's a very good cook. And we have no Harold and Wanda, sadly. I haven't had the chance to say Harold and Wanda in about three weeks. Favorite memory? Hmm. Well, the memory that jumps out at me is when I first was doing overnights and Chaos had her last litter. And they were in the kitchen and they were getting kind of big and they had made their way up onto the futon and there was a corunda bed there too. And Chaos was in with them and Chaos wouldn't let me go near the puppies, but she wanted that futon. So she kept barking and looking at the puppies, and they would not leave the futon for her. So I'd go in and say, all right, let me try and move the puppies, and she would, she'd growl at me. And I'd say, fine. After a while, I said, fine, Chaos, you're on your own. You can have the cur on the bed. So I went into the sunroom, and a few minutes later, I heard, mm, 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 and they came out, and Chaos is looking at me, whimpering. And I said, are you going to let me move the puppies? And she kind of backed off a bit, and she let me go and move the puppies. I moved the puppies to the corunda. She hopped up onto the futon, and we've been great friend, friends ever since. Are the driveway gates closed at night? Yes. There is the gate to the driveway is always closed unless somebody is coming in or out. What brought me to SDP? Um, bears, actually. Um, a friend of mine told me about the cams, the Explore cams, and the bears catching the salmon. So I went and checked out the bears on the cams and watched them for a while and then discovered there are a whole bunch of other cams. 
So I started going through those. Some of them are really, uh, and I came upon these Great Danes, and I thought to myself, what are these Great Danes doing on this site that has all these great cameras with bears and birds and nature? And uh, I just watched them after a while, discovered more about them, found out they were right here in Ipswich, which was relatively close by. And at that time, Pye and Merlot had had their two litters, which Ethel was one of. And I love watching Ethel. Ethel was an early favorite. Oh, brother. So that's how I came here. We found out you could visit. We came to visit. We liked it, and we came back. <laughs> away, 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 away. Are you take over? Yes, please, quickly. Okay. I fall down. Life is just never easy. Well, I'm delighted that it's partially easy. We got food. This, this time it was shipped by UPS. We've ordinarily gotten it from a normal trucking company. Whoever loaded this somewhere along the line did not have the tines or whatever those things, those, those funny stick out things. In the pallet, they had it in the first layer of dog food. So we have lost. About 20 cartons. I don't know. 10 short, 20, whatever. Um, that are damaged, etc. down there. We won't know until we unpack the whole thing tomorrow to see exactly what we are minus. But I had to go through this with the guy. I didn't have a camera. My cell phone, I can't do it. I wish I could. we do it tomorrow, but... Um, I would not sign saying that it was that we received it okay, which upset him. But I'm sorry, it's not done right. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, that was UPS, and they picked it up originally. So it's their their uh, their problem. Mm -hmm. The guy was not particularly sorry about it. He tried to tell me there was nothing wrong for a while. And there's cartons all over this cartons sitting on top. You know. All right, we got that straightened out. Okay, so that's why I got took so long. All right, did you did you open the other one? And you got everything. I I, I opened that just to get one more toy out because there was. The problems with the toys. Yes, well, okay, fine. Toys, so. Well, thank you, Barbara, for our our bark boxes. And Linda likes the boxes too. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so these are all yours now. And are we done? Uh, there may be more questions. Are there more questions? Oh, maybe more. How did you do these? Car bed. Yes, I did. You did all those. Yeah. How's your son doing? Good. He's doing good. Mm -hmm. I started watching the Eagles. I guess that's all we're doing. Yeah, we watch the Eagles too. I think dinner is just about ready. Dinner's ready? Okay, why don't we do dinner and forget this part? Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, right, thank you. Thanks for everything. Where am I? I'm in Chrome. I belong in the other one. I gotta get in that one. And then in the camera moving thing.